ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Factorio. My name, of course, is Obit Potato, and today we are going to be trying something that is uh, that is pretty pretty exciting, if uh, if I do say so myself. So basically, we're going to be playing with a couple of mods, and when I say a couple of mods, I mean an absolute shit ton of mods. Um, I would I would sort of describe this as as the sort of the tech it pack of Factorio. We've got absolutely tons of mods, and uh, and you know what? I'm going to be completely honest. I don't even know what half of them do, but I understand them enough to give it a go. So we're going to go ahead and uh, and get stuck right in. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a bunch more ore. A like. Wow! Like an absolute shit ton of them. Uh, silver ore, tin ore, tungsten, zinc, enemy bases. You know, we can do loads of stuff. We can change all of this this nonsense. Uh, we are going to change the starting area to big, uh, purely because we want a little bit of extra time before the biters uh, come knocking at our door. Um, yeah, I think that should be fine. Let's go ahead and generate the map and actually see what happens. Okay, and we're in. We are in the game. We are ready to start going. And uh, and as you can see, the stuff that we need to research has has just exploded. Oh my goodness, that is crazy. Um, so pretty much most of the things are similar. We've got a lot of the the same early technologies, but we've also got different technologies like electrolysis one and uh, you know air compressors and water bore and anything else lead processing. Oh my goodness, we have got a lot of stuff. And what alloy processing as well? What the heck is that about? Um, let's choose automation to actually get us started. We're obviously not in a position to do any research as of yet. However, I uh, I hope we will be very very soon indeed. So this is uh, this is our starting location. Is it good enough for us? We want to uh, we want to we want to have a little check around here. What is that? Lava pool. Jeez, I have never come across a lava pool ever before. Um, what I think we're going to do, to be honest, is I, I don't really like the starting location. I don't really like how... I like the sort of frequency of the ore spawns, but, I, you know, the desert and the swamp have just never been too appealing for me. Um, so this sort of shows you some of, the, some of the ore that we've got available to us. However, we are not going to take this spawn. We are going to choose another one. Because, you know, if we're going to do an entire bloody series on this, then uh, then we better be darn sure. Better be darn sure. And we are back in again. And, uh, and hopefully we've got a little bit of a better spawn this time. Let's set it to automation again. Okay, let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. This is more what I'm talking about. I, I like this a lot more. Uh, we do have a couple of trees over here, but that's okay. Uh, we've got a lot of tin ore, we've got a lot of stone as well. Honestly, I think this area up here is good. It's good that we've got sort of the empty the empty space to sort of be creative. I quite like that. Oh, there's grass as well. How nice is that? Let's uh let's let's mine up some trees. Um so yeah, we obviously start with a couple of things and there is a couple of things that you might be like, what 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 the heck is going on? Um well basically power is almost essential right from the get go. And so we've we've got solar panels, and you'll be like, oh my goodness, these solar panels are absolutely tiny. And I would be like, yes, they are absolutely tiny. And it's great, isn't it? Because solar panels are such a waste of bloody space. Um, so it'll be... That was terrible pole placement. Um, so it's nice to actually have, uh, have, 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 have solar panels that are a little bit more uh, conservative in their use of space. And then let's go place some accumulators down. There we go, that'll do. Okay, not entirely sure if I like this grass, but hey-ho, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, okay, so we obviously want to, to go down this sort of basic route of just getting iron production set up straight away. Let's put that there, and then we're going to put a stone furnace there so we can turn it straight into iron plates. Good, and we're also going to need to set up a coal mine over here. Um, so yeah, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of stuff that we can actually produce. There's a lot more... There's a lot more uh, stuff to actually do, so hopefully we're going to explore a heck of a lot of it, and uh, we're going to get a lot done. Um, something else you might be questioning at the moment is why on earth is there a big sort of I don't know what what is that called a rune up in the top corner? Um, that's that's a mod, obviously. Uh, that is cursed, and that's 
something to do. It's like magic, I think, as far as I, as I can tell. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, definitely want to explore that a little bit more. And um, but yeah, we've got a lot of we've got a lot of stuff to potentially build and a lot of stuff to explore. And hopefully, 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 it's going to be freaking awesome. And um, so we're going to try and set up a couple of burner mining drills so we can actually start on some coal production. Um, that's pretty much what we're after at the moment. And a couple more pieces of stone. Yep, that's great. Uh, we need some iron plates. Um, well, let's go back here and, and fill up our fill up our furnace. In fact, we don't even need to. We could actually just use a small electric furnace. And that's probably what we're going to do, actually. Um, because there is... Let's get rid of this. Can we get rid of these weeds? I don't think we can get rid of the weeds. We can get rid of some of the wood. A root tree. A little bit annoying, but whatever. Um, let's put that small electric furnace down and connect it. I know, I know this is sort of... Uh, a little bit overpowered, but at the same time, uh, you sort of need a lot of a lot of stuff to begin with. Um, coal. That's uh, that's an explore level. So that's yeah. It's sort of like a leveling system, and I really apologize because you probably can't see very well. I can barely see at the moment. So uh, so we're both in the dark when it comes to that. Um, let's mine some coal for this thing. Coal is a little bit more efficient than wood, so um, we definitely want to use coal whenever we can. Okay, there we go, and let's create a wooden chest to store all of our junk in. When I say junk, I actually mean coal. There we go, perfect, and let's get some more wood. Okay, so the order that you research things is quite important, actually. Uh, there's a lot more technology to uh, to deal with, quite frankly. And we should be processing iron plates now. Awesome. Good. I'm happy with that. That is uh, that is pretty darned awesome. So we've got iron plate production uh, online, and can't complain about that. Uh, what what else have I got in my inventory? Uh, cursed talent credit. That's that's pretty interesting. So basically, we can uh, we can stick our credits into our tier one credits anyway. We can stick them into bonuses for a lot of stuff, and we can see the stats that we've got over here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's uh, it's pretty neat. So for example, we got level two explore. That's because we explored, I take it. Um, we're actually going to buy a couple of complete days because, well, you can basically manipulate the world using these uh, using these credits, and that's pretty useful for us. Um, anything else of interest in the inventory? The cursed axe, yeah, this is in, this is all wrapped up in the cursed mod. That's sort of sort of like voodoo witchcraft and stuff. It's pretty interesting. Uh, hopefully, we'll get to it. Uh, the electric replicator. This is interesting. Let me show you how this works. And this, if 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 you thought the thought having an electric drill at the very start was overpowered, then you'll be uh, you'll be shocked to see what this is. This is effect a uh, I don't don't know what you'd like to call it. It's an electric replicator. That's exactly what it is. It takes electricity and uh, and turns that into actual mass. So say we want to create some stone. Yeah, we can do that. All it takes is is energy. That's it. That's absolutely it. And uh, and that's how it works. And honestly, I don't think we're going to use it that much because I think it's probably still much more efficient to actually uh, actually mine stuff out of the ground. But at the same time, it's always good to have in an arsenal of potential weapons to use in the future. Um, okay, so obviously we are going to want to set up the manufacturing of red science packs as soon as we can. Uh, we do need copper plates for that and copper looks like it's... Well, there's copper over there. There's copper over there. Um, however, I don't think we can... We might manage to get a belt through there, but I have something to show you that is very, very, very interesting. Uh, and for that, we need a lot of stone, and that's why I set up this electric replicator over here. Uh, also, as you can probably tell, the infantry, or my infantry, is a, a heck of a lot bigger, which is really, really nice indeed. Let's put some wood in there for now. I really don't like these weeds, but honestly... Uh, not much we can do. Okay, so let's uh, let's let's do some some cool stuff. We can actually make landfill now. Landfill is really really interesting because what you can effectively do, you can basically put it down in a space of water, and it will block up the water. I know that did absolutely nothing, but we only had one thing of landfill. We need more stone for uh, for more landfill. So we'll we'll be thinking about investing in that and perhaps perhaps we can get a copper belt running across here and um, I don't really know what sort of layout we're gonna go for the uh, for the factory as of yet that is still up to up to 
up, to, up for debate, as far as I'm concerned. You know, if you guys got any suggestions, perhaps the the main bus style. I've been looking at that a lot recently, and I and I really really like the look of that. I'm um, just collecting some wood here. 24 hours of day has started. That is that is nice. That is a great boost early on. I really like the, the that you can sort of buy daylight. I I do like that a lot. Um. Okay. Just uh, just getting a little bit more wood. Awesome. Great. Uh, and now we can think about starting to set up a lab. What do we need for a lab? We need copper. We need copper production. We need copper production. What about if we built another electric replicator? Uh, where on earth would that be? Not that one. Yeah, as you can probably tell, it is a bit of a navigational nightmare to actually tell where anything is. Okay, an electric replicator. We need 10 rare earth and we need 7.5 copper plates. So we actually do need some copper plates before we can uh, before we can start manufacturing them. Uh, rare earth is really really cool. So basically, as I, as you can see me hovering over this, you can see each each tile has a yield. And for example, this has got a yield of 21% over here, 17, 18%. So that means there's an 18% chance of if I mine, I will get an actual thing of rare earth. So it's pretty unlikely. As you can see, I'm mining away and I've only got a 19% chance of actually getting any rare earth. So uh, this is this rare earth is pretty rare. It is pretty darn rare. We did get one there. That's good. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you know, just to show you sort of what we're after. Uh, we are going to set up two more of these and we are going to start mining some copper over here. And we're also probably going to set up some rare earth something or other. Uh, do we have enough stone for a stone furnace? No, we need five stone for a stone furnace. Is there any stone around here? There's some stone down here. We can we can go mine some stone manually. Why the heck not? There we go. Um, some of the resources, as you probably noticed, are endless. Some of them aren't. I think that's a mod. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I'm A-OK -okay with them being endless. If you're not, then you know, leave a comment and tell me that you're angry. Except not an angry words because nobody likes angry words. That that is completely irrelevant. There we go. Um, I tried to put it in the wrong slot, but I was completely I was completely daft. I don't know why I would do that. Okay, good. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So as you can see, I'm very very excited uh, for the amazing factory that we can build. As I've said, this is sort of like the tech it, the tech it of Factorio, and I think that's pretty darn awesome because I love the tech it pack in Minecraft, and I thought. Uh, I thought it was really, really cool, and uh, and I really, really want to really want to see a sort of similar thing uh, going on here. I think that would be epic. Uh, we don't want to build an iron chest. Let's see if there's any wood around anywhere. Some wood up here. We'll go and try and get that. There we go. Perfect. A wooden chest, and we can stick that there, and stick some coal in there. Fantastic. Seventy coal. Wow, that's a lot. That's quite a significant amount. We're gonna invest that back into uh, back into our drills, so that we can continually mine coal. Uh, also, I should probably tap the Alt key to let you actually see what's being mined up. There we go. Perfect. Uh, we can actually now build. Did we actually want to build an electronic replicator, an electric replicator, or whatever it was? I can't really remember. Um, we could probably do that for copper. We could probably do that for copper. Uh, we need more coal and we can fill up that, that burner mining drill. Uh, I think as an absolute priority, we need to be shifting over to... Um, we need to be shifting over to electric mining drills as soon as feasibly possible. So we're going to be wanting to get the electric mining drill very, very, very soon. Um, yeah. And you know what? There's nothing stopping us from actually doing it now. Um, well, let's let's see if we can actually do that. We need 50 iron plates. We should have a fair couple in there. That's fine. We need 27 copper, 5 iron gears, and 4.5 of wood. All of that we can do. We can do that really remarkably easily. Okay. This entire place is really grassy and woody and horrible. But that's okay because maybe when we get a flamethrower, we can burn the entire place down and just and just make it all look amazing. That's the plan, anyway. That's the plan. Okay, how are you doing? Wow, you're you're making me a lot of stone. I like that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's uh, you know, that that might be considered a bit overpowered. But as I say, I I intend to use all aspects of this mod pack rather than just 
you know, spamming, spamming the uh, the super overpowered stuff. And that will actually allow us, you know, since we've produced that stone, it will actually, wherever the bloody hell it is, um, oh, it's there, um, yeah, it'll allow us to build some proper landfill. And we can actually build a bigger landfill, which means that we can actually stick that in there. So that that is, uh, we're, we're getting ever closer to bridging this gap. Let's see if we can build two more. Uh, okay, there and there. Okay, so we've actually bridged this gap, so we've saved ourselves a little bit of time, which is lovely. And hopefully, 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 we can... We need iron gears. How the hell do we build iron gears? In fact, we have... We can't even... Uh, we can't even make iron gears yet because we don't have automation. And as you can clearly see, we unlock the iron gear wheel once we've unlocked automation. So we need to build a lab and produce 10 science packs before we uh, before we even think about that. Um, so yeah, it's sort of a different, a different tiered system. I mean, you've got the basic circuit board here, which is made primarily out of wood. Uh, I think that's a really, really interesting take on sort of circuits because that, that effectively is what a basic circuit is. I mean, if you think of basic circuits, you just think of a of a board with some clips and you know it doesn't have to be like the like the green ones they've described i think they're still in the game i have no idea i haven't played on that far um you know you if you wonder if you're wondering what this is then you know what your guess is as good as mine it we can apparently do some wireless stuff i don't really know we can also apparently do some trading if we've got any landing platforms and um, but that's going to be fun because i have no idea what that is and i'm sure we'll we'll explore that one together okay so let's get 10 science packs on the go. Also, as you can see, we're making stone gear wheels, so that is, uh, that is in essence, the level down from the iron gear wheel. Um, so I think that's a, that's an, that's another sort of neat leveling system as well. I think that's pretty cool. I do like it. I do like it a lot. Um, okay, not too bad. Everything's going fine. Awesome. We are going to get automation very 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 soon indeed so i hope you guys like this series um i think it's going to be pretty awesome because this this is this is not going to be one of those series that uh, that just piddles away this is going to be around for a while if we want to build a properly amazing factory then we're going to have to we're going to have to really work on this and uh, and so expect to see quite a lot of this i mean whether you like factoria or not it's it's going to be coming out a lot so i hope you guys uh, i hope you guys you guys enjoy it because you know, I enjoy making this sort of stuff. It's it's pretty good. I've I've been itching to play Factorio for ages. I mean, there was a there was a period of time where I just I just didn't have enough time to build Factorio, and all and all that time I was just I was itching to play it. I mean, absolutely itching to play it. It's it's just such a great game. I I just I love how you can create whatever you want. It's it's like Minecraft but with systems in place. It's uh you know it's like tech it but more complicated. <laughs> yeah, basically. Uh, I I still don't understand it as I've uh, as I've previously said. Okay, do we need any more coal in here? No, I think I think those guys are fine for coal. Might need to fill up in coal over here though, so we'll head over there and see what's uh, what's going on. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually going to replace that and stick you guys in there instead of that because wood is I wouldn't say wood is valuable, but wood is important. Um, yeah, wood is very much important in this uh, in this sort of game okay great so we have an assembling machine we've got a long hatted inserter and we've got the iron gear wheel all of which mean we've also we this is really important by the way and um, very very important because we're, we're gonna be using them a heck of a lot uh, what were we gonna make I can't even remember what we were gonna make was it something that was really cool I cannot remember ah I completely remember it was an electric mining drill yeah because we don't want to be dealing with that. Uh, oh yeah, two two times uh, board bonus. Yeah, uh, basically our our crafting level. Let me show you. Um, our crafting level is level two, and there's a every time we craft we get more experience. Obviously, as you can see, that's going up, uh, and we have a. I've, I think it's a 0.8% chance to get an additional item. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, that chance will increase as the game goes on. So that is something that we've got to look forward to. Uh, let's go and stick some more credits into 24-hour days so you guys can actually see what is going on. Uh, obviously, we don't have optics yet, and that is, I wouldn't say that's far away, but that's a, that's a fair distance away. So 
we're we're gonna we're gonna hold back on that. And our axe is just broken, so that's pretty bad. Um, can we move this pole down a little bit so we don't have to use another one? We can. How fantastic is that? So now we should hopefully be mining at a power of three. I think that's been uh, that's been upped a little bit. I think they now mine a little bit faster. I'm not entirely sure. Um, it looks like we're almost constantly producing iron plates now. That's pretty nice. That's really, really nice indeed. Um, if we want to think about building inserters, we're going to have to think about getting uh, a basic circuit board. And what I plan to do is I plan to build a little system that we can uh, automatically manufacture both these wooden boards and these basic circuit boards as soon as we get sort of decent copper production up and running. Uh, what is going to be next on the list of things to research? I think we're going to go for logistics so that we have a little bit more flexibility in terms of uh, what we can actually do with our belts. There's a couple new belts in place as well, actually. We've got a divider, which basically um, is, is stops one lane of, uh, of, a, of a belt, and we've got a separator, which splits the, uh, the left lane and the right lane into, into separate lanes, I guess. I don't really know the terminology. Um, however, what we can actually do is we can think about setting up some more burner mining drills. I know we don't really want to be using burner mining drills, but whatever. Uh, we want to set them up on this rare earth because the sooner we can actually start our rare earth production, the better. Um, the reason I say this is because basically there, you've got such a small chance of actually getting rare earth. Whoops, there we go. Um, you've got such a small chance of actually getting rare earth that it's good to sort of set it up as early as possible. There we go. Take that, and we'll stick some chests down here. We, we could have probably used some belt or something, but, you know, I figure it's just easier to use chests. I mean, I'm not expecting many resources to be uh, to be in these chests at all. Okay, let's... Well, there we go. Something like that. Yeah, maybe, maybe about that much. 35 coal in each. 8 coal, 16 coal, and then 24 coal is going to go in there. Great. Or 16 coal even is just going to go in there. Um, so yeah, wow, it looks like we've actually already got 2 rare earth. Looks like I may be speaking absolute shite. But yeah, as you can see, there is there is pretty much a 0% chance of us actually getting any rare earth. So it is it is good that we start now and, you know, hopefully, hopefully, uh, hopefully we get a ton of rare earth because it is pretty essential to building some of the more advanced stuff. Um, okay, you know, I think we're actually going to call it there. I mean, this has been a pretty freaking awesome episode. Uh, in the next episode, I think we're probably going to set up production for... Where on earth are they? This stuff, yeah. We're going to set up uh, production of basic circuit boards so that we can actually produce basic inserters much, 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 much easier. Um, because, I mean, look at this. It takes ages. And, uh, and we don't want it to take ages. So we're definitely going to work on that in the next episode. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Potato. Thank you very, very much for watching. And, uh, and yeah, I'll see you next time.